welcome everyone in the 9 plus cgpa mcq series in this particular video we will see simple question paper of generative artificial intelligence and in this video we will see the questions from the coursera courses the first six courses which is in your syllabus and uh, some of the questions were taken from your videos and uh, some of the questions is taken from the pdf that you were finding while doing the course so these all the 30 questions that I will discuss in this video are very important. Go through each one of the question to score better. So moving to the first question. How does the size of the training data set contribute to the effectiveness of large language models? Option is larger details result in more accurate prediction. A smaller database, sorry, a smaller data sets lead to better conceptual understanding and c option is data set size is unrelated to model performance now this is not correct the training data set size has an inverse relations with model complexity correct option will be option a larger data set will result in more accurate prediction next question identify the pattern given example so you have given a pattern pattern is given here whenever i type add food you will add food to my grocery list and update my estimated grocery bill whenever I type remove food. You will remove food from a grocery list and update my estimated grocery bill. Whenever I type save, you will list alternative to my added food to save money. At the end, you will ask me to next action, ask me the first action. So this is the prompt given to you and uh, we need to identify the prompt pattern. Option is given menu action pattern meta language creation pattern gameplay pattern or persona pattern correct option will be option number a menu action pattern is the correct option next question which of the following is a key consideration in prompt engineering correct option is option number c crafting clear and precious prompts is the key consideration in prompt engineering next question identify given example belongs to which pattern again the pro uh, prompt is given to you filter this email to remove redundant information and uh, this is the example of cementing filter pattern so option a will be correct next question what is the primary objective of incorporating the audience persona pattern in conversational design correct option will be option b personalizing interaction based on user demographics is the primary objective of incorporating the audience persona pattern in conventional design sixth number question which of the following is an example of fundamental rule for a game created using the gameplay pattern so again the uh, example of prompt is given to you and you need to uh, you, you need to identify which is the gameplay pattern Correct option will be option number B. Gameplay pattern is this only. Ask me a question related to a fraction and increase my score every time I get one, one right. So this is the example of gameplay pattern prompt. Okay. Next question. What does the passage suggest about the benefit of using shorthand notation in communication with large language model? Op correct option is it allows for quicker and more condensed input guys again i am repeating all these questions are taken from your first six courses of coursera so all these questions are important because you know very well questions will be asked from the coursera only and it's not possible to do all the course in the one night so better is to do this video you will get better score next question how does the fact checklist pattern contribute to the process of verifying the accuracy of generated output? Correct option is option C. It provides a set of fundamental facts contained in the output. Next question. What is the significance of the set of fact being the fundamental fact in the fact checklist pattern? Question is about fundamental facts, fact checklist pattern correct option will be option c they can undermine the veracity of the output next question what is the benefit of using the question refinement pattern for the user all these questions are from unit number three prompt or unit number two also we can say because some of the portion is from the prompt engineering 
in unit number two is also there correct option will be option number b it adds the user in finding the right question for an accurate answer next question why is reflection important in the context of described pattern correct option is option c to uncover gap in knowledge or undertaking okay next question what is the primary purpose of the question refinement pattern in the conversation design correct option is simplifying user question next question what is difference between question refinement pattern and consignative verifier pattern correct option is option a question refinement pattern suggests a better version of the question whereas consecutive verifier pattern generate a number of additional questions so a will be correct answer uh, correct option next question what distinguishes the audience persona pattern from the persona pattern in the communication the question is about what what distinguishes the audience persona pattern and persona pattern correct option will be option number a tailoring output for a specific audience is distinguish the uh, audience persona pattern from the persona pattern in communication next question what is the optional instruction mentioned in the flipped interaction pattern example guys if you have not done all the prompt pattern then go and uh, watch a tutorial or go through your ppt first clear your concept then come to the video otherwise you can also watch the video and remember the answers that i am saying to you correct option is option number a ask me a question one at a time is the optional instrument mentioned in the flipped interaction pattern example next question in the context of large language model what is the significance of last generated word in the output very simple question it actually signifies the completion of the generated response 17th number how do variation in the output contribute to the effectiveness of large language models correct option is option b variation allows for exploration and creativity in the response okay next question what is the potential limitation of large language models in terms of updating knowledge correct option is new knowledge must be explicitly provided in prompts next question during the training of large language models what is the purpose of exposing the model to the diverse range of text from the internet it actually to captures a broad spectrum of language patterns next question what is the primary objective of incorporating the audience persona pattern in in conversational design correct option is option b personalizing interaction based on user demographics next question which term is used to describe the ai assistant obligation to answer question and follow instruction correct option will be option number a fundamental contextual statement is used to describe the ai assistant obligation to answer question and follow instruction next question in an ai prompt which of the following example effectively conveys the fundamental conceptual statement for an ai assistant now the question uh, option is very confusing you, uh, you might have seen that all the options are similar to each other but the correct option will be option number d in an ai pattern for the effectively conveys the fundamental cons conceptual statement for any for the ai assistant you will write this prompt so option d will be correct here next question what role is assigned to a persona in the prompt prompt is given here act as a fashion designer evaluate and critique a given outfit based on current fashion trends so prompt is given here and we need to uh, uh, we need to identify the role which is assigned to the persona in the prompt so correct option will be option number c fashion designer next question what is the key function of the optional prompt in the pattern correct option will be option number c to ignore the refinement process next question 
what distinguishes the audience persona pattern from the persona i think these questions we discussed earlier also correct option will be option number a challenging output for a specific audience next question what is described as a form of programming in the context of converging the llms large language models correct option will be option number c a structuring prompts to solve problem next question which of the following is an example of fundamental rule for a game created using the gameplay pattern i think these questions also we discussed earlier correct option will be option number b the prompt will be ask me a question related to a fraction and increase my score every time i get one right this will be the correct pattern for game gameplay pattern correct prompt for for gameplay pattern next question what does the passage suggest about the benefit of using shorthand notation in communication with large language models correct option will be option number e it actually allows for quicker and more condensed input next question and this is the last question of this video in the alternative approach pattern what is the role of the optional statement comparing the pros and cons of each approach correct option will be option number c it actually helps user make informed decision so guys this was all about the videos and all these questions was taken from your coursera courses so all the 30s questions are very important thank you so much for watching the videos i will make one more video that, that also questions will be, will be taken from the coursera so make sure to watch that video also thank you so much